what is up everybody? I hope you're having a great day. As you can see, I'm currently not at home. We're actually doing a three-day staycation courtesy of Corret Hotel. Typically when we do staycations, you know, we like to plan local activities and you know do some fun sightseeing and stuff. But this time it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna take this time to rest and recharge, you know. Go for a swim, you know, enjoy some high teas and maybe head to the gym. And since we're gonna be here for the next three days, I thought it would be a great idea to share with you some tips and tricks on how you can utilize your Apple Watch through various lifestyle routines. And if you don't own an Apple Watch but I'm planning on getting one, I hope this vlog would give you a glimpse of how a lifestyle of the Apple Watch would look like. So I'm very excited for the next three days, but for now, let's check out how the room looks like. And also typically when I do my tech reviews and tech sharing, it's always in my room. But this time I want to do something a little bit different. Bring you guys on this 3 day staycation, up close and personal. While also sharing you some tech tips and tricks on how you can utilize your Apple Watch. So it's a different kind of content format. Let me know in the comments down below if you find this kind of format refreshing and if I should do more. Also don't forget to drop a like on the video down here and subscribe to the channel. The goal is to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of this year and we've got only about 2 more months to go. So Let's try to make this work. Okay, so right now we're at the gym. Um, the first thing that I want to share with you is the workout app on the Apple Watch. So if I click into the workout app, you have a bunch of workout scenarios and you know activities that you can select from. You have outdoor run, you have your walking, you have cycling, all the way to you know even like HIIT and yoga as well. Also. If you go all the way to the bottom, this is something new. If you add workout, you can actually add the traditional strength training. So basically, if you're working out in the gym, uh, this is something that uh, allows the Apple Watch to track your calories. By no means this is accurate because Apple is only tracking your heart rate and also other variables like your age, your height and your weight. Um, but yeah, this is the very first thing that I want to share with you and it's something very cool. So let's get to work out now. Hello, good morning. The time now is 7.30am. I'm currently at Marina Bay Sands area. You can see behind me. I'm actually going for a morning run and the tip that I want to share with you on your Apple Watch is basically the auto pause function that you can use. So if you go to your Apple Watch, click on settings, go all the way down to workout, you can click on the auto pause function and that allows the watch to detect that wherever you're coming to a stop on you know, on your run or whether you're cycling, whether it's a traffic light or you're taking a break, the Apple Watch will auto pause the session and then will resume once you have taken off again. So it's a very, very good and useful tip for, you know, Apple Watch Series 8 and all the latest OS. So make sure you use this for your running and your cycling. So another great advantage of having an Apple Watch is basically you can have you know, a variety of watch faces on your Apple Watch. So if you look over here, right, you can customize various watch faces by just tapping on the Apple Watch. I have this Meridian one, or I have a Nike kind of like a sport theme kind of uh, watch face and also a modular one where it gives me a lot of information, you know, your battery, the weather and, and you can quickly access your apps like the Spotify and your workout app. So basically a ton of custom watch faces. But if you do not want to use this watch faces on the native OS, you can also download a third party app called Clockology. So if you look over to my watch and you tap on the Clockology app, you have a bunch of, you know, uh, custom watch faces that I personally like. So for me, um, I have the MS one and then I also have a Casio one which has this very cool animation. So for those of you who don't want to use the watch faces on the native OS, you know, check out Clockology and you can uh, find a custom design that you like and then you just sync it to your Apple Watch. Obviously these are not integrated with the watch OS so these are actually an active app that is running on the foreground. So whenever I click, it will go back to the native watch face that you're using. So basically you are just running an app on the foreground. Uh, but it also tells the time and gives you a bunch of you know information that you want pretty cool app and I've been using it So hope this tip helps you Okay, so this is a very cool trick that I want to teach you guys if you have an Apple watch go to your Apple watch settings Scroll all the way down to accessibility and then scroll down to quick actions You can turn quick actions on so basically what this does is that you can perform a quick double pinch quick action And then it allows the Apple watch to 
um, execute a motion. So basically if you want to take a selfie and then you're using your Apple Watch as a camera display, you can take a selfie and then you know just do a quick double pinch. This will sync the camera to take a photo. Personally, I think this is a super cool trick. So if you have an Apple Watch, make sure you try this out. Um, turn on the quick action. We've come to the end of this three days staycation. Um, as usual, if you like this video, make sure you drop a like here and then subscribe to the channel as well. Hope you like this uh, kind of a hybrid lifestyle vlog slash tech sharing kind of thing. I'll see you in the next one.